Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this really simple overnight hair growth spray that you can add to your regimen for faster hair growth and also to help thicken your hair. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now before we get into it guys, I just want to say a massive thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support and if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family i make lots of diy recipes for fast hair growth and just general hair maintenance so if this content interests you please please click the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop right into the video the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some moringa leaves this i got from i think it was amazon um, but you can find it on ebay as well um, if you're in the uk so for this i will be using about one tablespoon of moringa leaves. Now moringa is, is a powerhouse of nutrients for our hair. It is full of vitamins and antioxidants which helps to stimulate hair growth and also helps to thicken hair. Um, so next we're gonna go in with some neem powder. Um, again, I got all these guys from Amazon so I'll see if I can find links for you guys and leave it in the description box so feel free to check it out. So Nem powder, again, super, super amazing um, when it comes to both our hair and scalp. It helps to fight dandruff, um, itchiness, and also helps to stimulate hair growth. Um, over time, also, this can help sort of darken your hair or prevent premature growing. So super amazing. So again, I use one tablespoon. Now I'm going in finally with some dry hibiscus. I can't even say it. Dry hibiscus leaves. Um, so again, links will be in the description box, guys. So do just just check the description box for everything. Um, so again, I'm using one tablespoon, and then I'm gonna just add some hot water to this um, and just allow it to sit to infuse overnight. Um, you can infuse this for a couple of days if you want to, but Overnight is just enough. So stir that in and just allow it to sit around. Um, so you know this is ready when your moringa leaves have literally sort of changed color and also you've got like a reddish liquid. So we're gonna go ahead now and strain this. Now the straining will be in two process because we've got the nem powder in it, um, which you need to really, really like strain properly because if you don't, you're gonna have some powder left on your scalp. So this is gonna dirty your scalp, guys. So it's important you strain it properly. So to begin with, I'm using a recap here just to get the bulk of the pulp out. And then um, after that, I will also be using my kitchen paper towel um, just because it's got finer holes and it will really get rid of, you know, all the powder that I may have left in this um, mixture. Now you can also use a coffee filter if you've got it available or a tea towel depending on how um, wide the holes are. Um, so all you need to do guys is just pour that on there and just allow it to drain and essentially what you will have left on your kitchen towel or paper towel will be um, the powder which you don't want right so i'll show you what i mean um, in a little bit now if you're using paper towels it's important that you make sure that yours is quite nice and strong because if it's not it's going to break as you are um, doing this process <laughs> Okay guys, so you can see here, I do have quite a bit of the powder left on my paper towel. So you can see that if I didn't strain it, that would have gone in my hair. Now I'm, I'm transferring this to a spray bottle so that it's easier to use. And that's it. It's really simple, really quick, yet super, super effective. When it comes to hair growth so stick with me i'm going to show you how i use it and also talk about how often you should be using this to see great results 
so I'm starting here on pretty much dry hair just like you can notice you probably have seen this clip already from a previous video of mine um, the reason why that is guys is because I did lose the footage of me applying this mixture on my hair but it's pretty much exactly the same thing um, that you need to replicate so because my hair is pretty much dry I will be using this to moisturize um, and then I will be leaving this in my hair um, overnight now I don't necessarily mind the smell of this because it, it doesn't smell like terrible or anything um, so it's something that I can use quite often throughout the week without necessarily uh, being worried about how bad it smells if that kind of makes sense so this could be left in your hair as well as a high growth um, spray or perhaps um, a con conditioner um, so but if obviously you don't um, like the smell or you just want to wash your hair afterwards then please go ahead and wash it out um, in the morning but I would suggest you don't sort of overdo when it comes to washing because obviously you don't want to strip your um, scalp of all these natural oils um, so maybe if you're going to be washing this um, out of your hair do not use as regularly as you would have for example if you are using it as a leave-in conditioner so all you just need to do guys is just spray this to your scalp um, and then the rest of your hair just like you saw me do earlier and then I'm just detangling a little bit I'm doing a bit of finger detangling and then the oil that I'm using here is one of my DIY um, oils that I had sitting around so I'm using this to seal moisture um, in my hair but you can use any other oil of your choice could just be olive oil or coconut oil or anything that you have available now talking of oils I just want to use this opportunity um, to say a massive thank you guys to all of you who made your orders um, on my website now if you didn't know I have a website now called naturalvanesta.com where you can order your hair growth oils i do have um aloe vera um hair growth oil on there i've also got some hibiscus infusion and also some butters so super super amazing for um to stimulate hair growth and also just to maintain your hair so if you're looking to purchase some of my products I would definitely appreciate it so i will link the uh, website again in the description box so feel free to check that out now just like you're seeing here guys i'm just going ahead and detangling my hair um just to to make sure that you know it's properly detangled so i'm just going being through um, and then after i finish i'm going to twist this section move on to the next and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this because um, I do get this question quite a lot um, I would say depending on what you're using it for guys so if you're using it as a leave-in conditioner then you can um, use twice or three times a week depending on how often you moisturize your hair but if you, obviously if you're going to wash this out um, in the morning uh, let's say use it as an overnight hair growth spray i would say once a week or once every two weeks would be fine because you don't want to sort of over wash your hair essentially so this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye